What is your gender? My gender. Mm. I'm a mechanic. Go up, my son, you bastard. Team Fortress 2. This game just refuses to die, refuses to stay down. It's like that one super tasty McDonald's french fry that you drop onto your car seat, and then you find it like seven years later, and it looks the exact same. You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Bro, you just played me yesterday. It seems as if Valve finally gave some food to the single Team Fortress 2 developer they have locked in a pit, granting them the energy to actually work on the game. Thus, we have finally got it, gamers. We have finally got the highly anticipated TF2 SAIL update. I don't know what is so special about the SEAL. Silly. Honestly, Valve could have just added this single thing, and TF2 fans still would have been eaten good, alright? Oh my god, they added a seal cam. Apparently I'm not the only one that feels this way either. As you may have heard, Team Fortress 2 broke its personal concurrent players record, reaching a 253,000 player peak. Holy shit. Valve, please. The people crave more Team Fortress. I'm on my knees. However, as cool as this update is, it really just boils down to community content, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I feel like there's a stigma against community content being used by developers, but honestly, sometimes it can be more quality than the actual dev stuff. That guy in his mom's basement really got more passion and talent than some AAA companies. Just look at Halo, for example. Some of that game's best content is community content. Forge custom games probably make up more memories than actual multiplayer for some people. The community content in Team Fortress 2 is just steamy. Valve even added the man himself as a fully realized playable mercenary. Everybody said done, dude. <laughs> Yo, a little help here? Has this ever happened to you, stuck on a mysterious island? Well, if so, let me introduce you to this video's sponsor, Hawk. A new free-to-play PvPvE extraction shooter set on the beautiful island you happen to be stuck on, Exile. Squad up with your buddies to do some good old-fashioned treasure hunting. Grabbing mysterious relics that grant you special abilities. The island is littered with dangers. But don't worry, there's no yetis here. Instead, it's just a murderous tribe of lizard folk, the Disciples, who will jump you on sight, so be careful. Complete fun puzzles and dodge dangerous traps with your incredible backflipping skills, since apparently you also have an Olympic gold medal in gymnastics. Enter the temple, extract your relic, and get off the island. You need Saxton Hale when you're a Giga Chad renegade. Play the open beta right now, running until August 17th, so you got plenty of time to get some extractions in. It will also have a crossplay beta between PC and PlayStation soon. There's even a free Issue Zero battle pass you can complete, with rewards that carry over to the full game. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down below to drop into Hawked right now. Thank you Hawked for buying my groceries. Anyways, so what exactly was added to this game? And why exactly does Team Fortress 2's ship just insist on staying afloat above a sea of first-person shooters? Well, I have that answer for you. Bro, check out my gun, it's like a cannonball. Damn, bro, that's awesome, I'm dead. But, let's talk about the content first, shall we? Less building, more fighting! I think people really underestimate the value of maps and games. It can add tons of life into a game, even if it doesn't change any mechanics. Simply having new places to run around and fight in can add hours upon hours of new gameplay experiences, and also hours upon hours of getting dicked on. And, well, this update added 14. God damn. Well, Kelsky, it doesn't count because the community made the map. I don't care. Quality is quality, and these maps are pretty fucking quality. If someone was like, hey, did you know Valve made 14 new maps for Team Fortress 2? Well, I'd probably laugh in their face. But then, I would second guess myself, because these look like dev-made maps. So, big ol' props to the people who made these. Now, 14 is a lot of maps. There's no way I could cover them all in this one video. Is what I would say if I was a pussy. Don't underestimate my power. I'll describe every map in a few sentences each. Starting with these ones first, because these four are special maps. Cashworks. 
Well, I sure hope it does. Starting off strong here. This map just plays so incredibly well with payload. I think I'm starting to get the hang of Sniper a little bit now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Especially around the bridge area. What a nice little flank route right here. What's up, guys? Nice. Not so nice. Oh, this guy looks cool. Do a nice rocket jump here. It's perfect for it. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's a very enjoyable map, and choke points like this are both fun to defend and attack. Ba -da -da -da. That never gets old, dude. It also has a very cool ending animation once you escort the full payload. I gotta do it, man. Dude. Damn, look at all this gold, dude. I'm retiring early. Phoenix. Totally unrealistic. As the mercenaries aren't immediately dying from heatstroke the moment they step outside, like the real Phoenix. My soldiers rage. My soldiers fight. My soldiers also die. My soldiers are dying pretty fast. <laughs> My soldiers have a heart attack and high cholesterol. <laughs> the map, however, is very well designed with tons of space for sniping and a beautiful canyon aesthetic. I think I can consider this one one of my new favorites. Now I know it seems like I'm using fire right now. But I'm actually just blowing the hot air back at them. Venice. It honestly kind of reminds me of that one Modern Warfare 3 map. I think it's like called Resistance or something. It's kind of odd seeing this like semi-realistic setting in a game with characters that look like this. The map is pretty fun though. Providing a more close quarters vibe with tons of little routes for spy rats to travel. It'd be like that. Oh, man. <laughs> I was spectating Oh, my cloak's about to run out, dude. Oh, hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm friendly, I'm friendly. Oh my god, this is the stupidest fight ever. <laughs> we can't kill each other. Oh, fuck. First try. Hardwood. Ah. <sighs> I'm, I'm not gonna make the joke, it's just too easy. I'm a big sucker for foresty style maps because they just look so good and it kind of gives me Left 4 Dead vibes for some reason. I love the nice open spaces to fight around and the name is no false advertisement with plenty of large hard wood you can wrap around during combat. I love nature. Continuing the nature theme, we got sulfur. This is hands down the prettiest of the new maps, and it's also what weebs think the entirety of Japan looks like. The Japanese aesthetic does go hard as fuck though, and I love the locations of the control points, such as this one surrounded by boiling water. Reckoner. I hardly know her. <coughs> now this is what the weebs realize Japan is actually like, surrounded by just buildings and infrastructure. I am super disappointed in Kyoto. I thought this would be... A traveler's dream. This is probably the more standard looking map out of the new bunch, but it's still fun to play on with good mixes of outdoors and indoors combat. Rotunda. This map takes place on the same path your parents said they took when they walked to school back in their day, right through the railroads and coal mines. This map is essentially one giant donut with an outer ring circling around the control point in the center. It's a good map. Lots of flanking opportunity. Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm just trying to get to the main point. Thank you. I've seen some insane spy plays here. Oh, our spy's going in. Our spies are fucking them up right now. Oh my god, dude. Did you see the kill feed? Shark Bay. Probably one of my favorites. Oh! <laughs> Bro, it's so tragic. <laughs> because having this boat be a hill location is extremely fun to fight for. Oh, that's a lot. That's a if lot. If these guys full hold us, it's gonna be kind of sad. I'm trying to get their heavy down right now. Oh, okay, okay. you're not. Oh, god, that was fucking close. All right. All right, we can make that push. Go, go, yep, go, yep, go, yep, go. Yep, yep. Oh, he's got Uber. It's all right. Welcome. He should be running out soon. He's out. He's out. Oh god! Yeah, let's go, baby! At first, I thought the water in the surrounding area was just made up of the same acid that Walter White uses to dissolve bodies. But then I realized it's the sharks that just turn your body into ground beef the moment you touch their territory. Pelican Peak. Honestly, 
I did not see much of this map, because for some reason, this map attracts bots like flies to shit. Who's ready to play a video game? I love video games. Oh. I mean, I don't think it's anything crazy anyways, but it's not terrible. Me and this pyro have just been air blasting pack our shots, because we can't play because of the stupid bots. Oh. <laughs> Selbien, aka Sealbien. Objectively the best Team Fortress 2 map due to one single factor, Sylvia. Not only is this a fun map to play on. Uh, I'm using right now. Oh my god. Uh, Pyro's getting kind of close. He's getting a little close for my comfort. I'm getting a little close. Oh, the no scopes are nasty though. But it's also incredibly fun just feeding fish to this absolute unit. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Fuck off. I'm trying to watch a seal. Get off my seal! He's gonna make it! Go on, be free! Ugh, if you love something, you gotta let it go. Assuring its safety, even if it costs you your life. I'm fucking mowing them down! Now I am become death. I mean, in the end, the seal got fed, so didn't we all win? Yeah. I could've stopped them, but the medic decided to pocket a pyro. Oh, quit bitching! Finally, we have our special maps. Valve decided to make Versus Saxton Hale a legitimate mode in Team Fortress 2, and it is amazing. Holy shit, you're a menace! <laughs> and also very terrifying. What am I doing? I should probably put down this turret. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. he's all right here, he's all right here! Yep. Oh, you're the first guy to- <gasps> Kill run, he has got anime powers! Oh. Oh my god, he'd kill my turret! My powers. Oh, 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 through his footsteps are shaking the ground. Oh my god, it scared me! <laughs> Fuck, oh my god, went straight for me. Saxton now has refined special abilities, such as a charged up haymaker punch. Yo, seeing that in midair was crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. An explosive fist. Come here. Come here, Scout. <laughs> and the earth shattering Goomba stomp. <laughs> Come here. I know you're so. How can he jump so high and stomp so hard, you may be asking? Well, here's your lore explanation Distillery. My personal favorite of the four Saxton Hale maps, look, Saxton literally explodes onto the fucking map, leaving his signature Australia hole behind. I also think it's the most fun to both fight Saxton on and be Saxton. I'm a fucking menace! Well, that's hurt hurts though. You have to take care of that here. <laughs> Come here! Come here! As there's plenty of open space for things like sniping. I'm gonna get like one headshot off of this guy. Oh, ah. I got him! Honestly, oh! If you get, if you get the headshot, oh! Let's go! <laughs> you Wait, you head on <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, there's a trash compactor right here, man. Let me see. Oh shit. I almost fell into that. What? Oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Nucleus. Nucleus is a close second. I think the radioactive pool is a cool, nice touch. And it also acts as an environmental hazard for everyone. Except Saxton, who really just uses it to shave his legs. Skirmish. Set in Yeti Park. This is Saxton Hale's home field advantage. Alright, game. Oh my god! <laughs> Deep in the island, he is caged up like a wild animal. <laughs> Waiting to be released upon your poor soul. That's not good. Oh! Oh my god! Killed like five things! This one definitely feels like the most classic Saxton Hale map to me, and it is, of course, fun. Alright, let's do it. Let's settle this like men. Hit me with your... <laughs> Tiny Rock. This one just screams that good old TF2 map that you know and love. With the signature rocky desert look, there isn't too much special about this map, as it seems a bit more on the bland side visually, but it plays just as well. 
<laughs> Bro. I'm very happy that Valve took the time to not only make Versus Saxton Hale a legit game mode, but they also upped the presentation of it and refined the gameplay. This big burly chest has never looked better. I'm Saxton Hale. Saxton Fail. The new cosmetics added are just as quality as the rest of the update. There are way too many to cover in this video, Damn! but there's a plethora of new war paints, taunts, and of course, hats. <laughs> there aren't anything like summer themed related, so no banana thong heavy yet. For now, we'll just have to appreciate the sniper. Ah oh, man, it seems they added sniper rifle glint to this game. Oh wait. That's just the glistening peck sweat. Give them hell, boys! Now this was a surprise that didn't come right away with the patch's launch, but a feature that was just tucked away in a patch notes list. These madmans decided to increase the player count to a hundred people. And you know, it's actually quite the organized experience. It's surprisingly calm. Oh my god, dude, look at this. Oh, he's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't I can't believe they actually added this boat. I'm going in. I'm going in on right side. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Holy fuck the feed! Can we get like a hundred man conga line going? Is that fucking possible? The engineer is an engine queen. Yeah, bro, yeah, let's, let's do a hundred man conga line. So, yeah, there we go, conga line, let's get it. Let's get it. Red team, don't be a bunch of fucking pussies, bro. Put away the sentries. We're making our way there. We're making our way there. Yeah, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're making it. We're making it, dude. No! There we go, they got a conga line. shut up. Fuck you, engineer. Aw, man. It's always that one no. fucking guy. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. Valve, this update is fucking awesome. Although, super unstable, obviously. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. If only we got better netcode in some sort of new Team Fortress game, or, you know, maybe even a Source 2 port. Huh. Huh. I think the summer update just further cements this game as a timeless masterpiece. The gameplay, in my opinion, has a formula that just still works to this day. When I first hopped back into Team Fortress 2 after taking a little break, I'll be honest, I was getting spanked up. Okay. Bro, oh my god. Okay. And having a bad time. But I can't really recall a point where I was like, alright, fuck this, this game is bad. No. Instead, I continued to play, because I knew in my brain I wasn't dying to some cheap, overpowered ability. The other person just knew how to play their character, and there also may be a neckbeard. Look, what I'm trying to say is, every minute I spend playing this game, it just makes me want to get better at it, to learn the mechanics more. It is a really fun game to just mess around in, yeah. Give me a high five. Yeah, high five. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> no! But it is also insanely satisfying to pull off something very cool or go on a massive kill streak. Oh man, that was dirty. Because you earn that moment. Unless you got a medic by you. <gasps> oh my god, bro. Oh my wow. god. This guy just fucking ubered me. I just went off. The longer times to kill prevent people from just using one mag to spray down like four dudes because he got the reach around on him. TF2's gameplay loop is just so incredibly solid. Cool. A foundation made of fucking bedrock. I bet. I got this. I got this. Easy. 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 <laughs> yes. Hell yeah, brother. Gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck? Why would you play Overwatch? Let's fucking go. And all these maps do are just let it shine in new ways, community made or not. With all that said, Valve, please for the love of God, the world craves a Team Fortress 3 on the Source 2 engine. You don't even have to change too much. Just do a Counter-Strike 2 and give the game some nice quality of life improvements and make it look prettier. Or something. That's it for me, Team Fortress community. Keep being yourself and keep supporting this game. Happy fortressing. Peace.
<laughs> also, fuck these bots, dude. If you make a bot for this game, I hope you're stuck in a public restroom with no toilet paper. You dick.